Dutch Homestead. My name is Melissa and today I am going to be installing a rain barrel. This girl has perfect timing for naps. I need to grab a couple more things from the garage and we'll get started. This, got the drill. Well, let's get started. The first thing we want to do when picking our location is we want it to be close to our downspout. We want this to be a nice level area. I get two concrete blocks and a paver stone to raise my rain barrel up off the ground a little bit so I can put a bucket underneath it if I want to and it also gives it more gravity pressure to help the water flow faster. So I can already tell that the backs of these concrete blocks are a lot higher than the front so I'm going to dig out some of this mulch from underneath them and use my level to get these leveled. I'll take that as level. Got my little helper here being very official. When you think you're gonna film during nap time, surprise! All right, so we'll see this here for a minute. Can I put the barrel up there? Can you hold that for me? And I can put this up here? I want to make sure that's centered on there pretty good. Are you gonna drill me? This rain barrel kit comes with all the pieces that you need. It has instructions. It's been sitting in my garage since I had my baby, so it's been on my to-do list for a while. And it has all of the parts you need for drilling the holes. It's, it's awesome, awesome, awesome. And this kit was $30 for a barrel and all the pieces. The only thing that I had to purchase was the concrete blocks and the paper stone to go with it, so. And then I, I had my own drill, so. But if you don't have a drill, you would have to, you'd have to get a drill. It even comes with this cute little don't drink the water sticker. All right, so to do this bolt, we're going to unscrew this part. Put your bolt on there and make sure it is going through and secure. sometimes be really hot after you're drilling so be careful when taking it off. You may notice the outfit change. It is the next morning. My drill would not charge and 
Baby was not helping, so I got up before baby this morning and I'm trying to finish this. All right, so next we have this little piece. This is, um, what's it called? It has the screw part inside for our spigot. So we're gonna fit this in there with this part sticking out. So we want to squeeze it like it's a cup. There we go. Okay, now it's there. All right, <laughs> we did it guys. Right. Now this is just gonna screw in there. Alright, so next we're going to be putting in our input from the downspout. So we need to change our bit to the one and a half bit. So now we're going to be taking this rubber piece and putting that right in here. Same, same deal. We want to fold it. we're going to be making the hole in our downspout for, I think it's called an inverter or something like that for where the water comes into the barrel. So we need to change our drill bit to the largest one, which doesn't stay on here. Oh, there it is. Two and an eighth. Oh, this way. And the instructions for this one varies depending on what what type of barrel you have. Mine is a closed barrel. If you have an open barrel, it has um, instructions on how you should do your barrel based on what type of barrel you have. So I'm just gonna put this here for a second so you can see it. So we're gonna be keeping it about level or just slightly above where um, I have the hole in the barrel. This is going to go with this opening up. The water will go through here and come out into your rain barrel and then excess water is going to go down through your downspout out the bottom. Okay. 
we're going to fasten this in with two little screws. Here's what we're working with. Now, the last thing we need to do is connect our hose and this is all done. All right, so we don't wanna have a whole ton of slack. We want this to just go smooth. These are the different variations of how you can put your hose, just for reference. as far as it's going in so it's a nice straight setup it looks good all right so now all that's left is to get some rain fill up the rain barrel and get to enjoy it i may test this out and if i have any issues with water flowing in i can move the rain barrel a little bit farther away so i can stretch that hose out a little bit we shall see if i have any issues i'll let you know um this is my third rain barrel that i've gotten from this this park so they've been great 30 bucks if you're local I it's um Conesty Park uh it's, it's great so hopefully there's some resources around here where you can find some rain barrel kits and you can get your own rain barrels to save some water um, to water your garden I will see you next time hope this was helpful and you enjoyed it